In today's example, we will be discussing how to analyze least square regression lines. Now in this question, it states that to the right are data collected on the prices and capacity of hard drives. Below is the regression analysis of price versus capacity. Now this is the x values and these are the y values. For part a, without the use of a calculator, write the regression equation and define the variables used in your equation. Now here's the regression analysis and you can find the answer in this little chart right here. Now the regression line model is y hat equals to b plus a x. Okay, right here the intercept is stated as 18.617. So you can assume that b, which is the intercept, is 18.617. The capacity coefficient is stated as 103.929 which can be assumed to be the slope. Now it asks to define the variables used in the equation. Now plugging in the A and B values, you get this equation right here. Now what do, they, do these variables actually mean though? Well, y hat is the y value, which is the price um, in dollars of the hard drives, okay? The x value is the capacity um, of the hard drives in, um, that is um, measured in TB. Now, 18.617 is the y-intercept when the x value is zero, or the capacity is equal, the capacity of the hard drive is equal to zero, and this right here is the slope. Now in order to check this equation in, in the calculator, you will calculate, you will, sorry, you will input these values into the um, L1 um, x chart, and then these into the y values. Then you will press stat calc 4 to calculate the least regression line, and then um, it will validate that this is indeed the correct equation. Now going on to part B, it asks, explain the meaning of the slope in y-intercept in context. So earlier I mentioned that the y-intercept is when the hard drive TB capacity is equal to zero, which means that if the hard drive has um, a zero TB capacity, then it starts out um, at $18.62. Now for the slope, the slope is 103.929. It just means that for every increment of one TB that you input into X, the price Y hat increases by an average of 103.929 dollars. And remember to um, talk about everything in context. Relate to the price and the capacity. Okay. Now part C, predict the price of a 3.0 TB drive. Now if the capacity is 3, that means that x is equal to 3. If you simply input that into your regression equation, you will get that the estimated price will be $330.40, okay? Now, Shaheen found a 3TB hard drive for $300. According to your regression equation, determine why this is or is not a good buy. Well, just now we had input 3 into the equation and we got that. The estimated value, predicted value, would be 330, whereas he bought it for only 300, and thus it is a good buy because it is cheaper by about $30.40. Okay? Now that concludes um, the advanced problem. Um, now to summarize it all, this is the analysis of regression equations. If you are given this regression analysis table, this value, this intercept coefficient value, will give you 
the B value right here, which is the y-intercept. And if you're given the capacity coefficient, that is the slope value, okay? And then the intercept value is when your um, x value is 0. So it starts out with 18.617 in this particular example. Now the slope is that for every increment of 1 TB capacity, um, the price will increase by $103.929, okay? Now, if you're get, once you get the equation, you're able to plug in any x value to get a predicted value of x. And that concludes the video for today, and thank you for watching.